Reflection Lends Wisdom. People have told me that they saw the last video as really no different than normal, just, you know, the observations of an LP are as you would normally expect them. Um, I find this slightly surprising, although perhaps I shouldn't, because I certainly felt differently, I can tell you that much. Um, I felt as though throughout the entire video I was withholding reaction and withholding the honesty of spoken emotion um, at several steps of the process, and uh, perhaps, not perhaps, uh, with certainty, the single most egregious example of this was uh, the introduction of the Gorons. If you look back at that video, you see as soon as I see that word, the name of the Gorons, I, I pause. And I can tell you that pause was me attempting to control a reaction of abject terror. Um, I am aware of the Goron's reputation elsewhere in the Zelda franchise as obstructionist, busywork assholes. But, you know, what role did they serve in this game? Obstructionist, busywork assholes. But, interestingly, they have proven to be the least egregious example of that so far. Certainly far less, like orders of magnitude less so than the Toke. So, um, my reflection leads me to the conclusion that last video did not provide us with an adequate amount of data. And I, if I wanted to see what the result of that uh, withholding qualitative, qualitative analysis would be, I would need a longer video with more content, more content in an intra dungeon segment. Um, I'll ponder on it and see if that's something I decide I want to do next time. Anyway, this is the Crown Dungeon, and this is coming through louder than normal for me. Let me, sorry, let me take one second to do an audio check. Okay, we're all good, at least as far as I can tell. So, this is the good part of the game, hopefully. I hear, I, I, every time before I'm about to go into either, well, not every time, but often right before I'm about to go into a dungeon or intra-dungeon segment, I will get uh, warnings from people saying like, Oh, you D, you're going into the part that is the has the thing that does the stuff and then just be super upset and surprised and scared. And I, I can't wait to see how much you're going to love it slash hate it slash want to impregnate it. So, um, so far, lar woo. Did that hurt me as much as I thought it did? I will just endeavor to avoid it, so it matters not. Um, yeah, so... I'd say at least half of the, half of the time, at least 50% of the time when people tell me about that kind of thing, you know, tell me about what their expected reaction or their expected emotional condition of the upcoming segment would be, it proves to be completely wrong, and that, that's gone in both directions, you know. Some, sometimes it's been a false positive, sometimes a false negative. Um, yeah. But, uh, this is why I try not to listen to what people will say, or what's the best way to put that? I try not to listen to what people think I'm going to think, if that makes sense. And just go in it with, uh, you know, pure... Oh, Gale Seeds. Yeah, there's a reason for that. Go into it with... Not Gale Seeds, Pegasus You know what I'm trying to say. Go into it with pure honesty of reaction. And this matters not because I don't have a key. I am good at life. That's okay. Professional obligation will save me. And now I'm going to do this again. <laughs> I saw the switch crystal earlier, so I know I'm going to have <sighs> rapid-fire item switching to do. Yeah, so conditional conditional access and uh, traded access portions of the dungeon. And uh, horizontal platforming segments, because Jesus loves you. I will have to use the Pegasus Seed combination to get across here, won't I? Uh, which means I'm going to end up failing dash jumping on camera many millions more times. No, that's... I can't get that far. Not even with the... Huh. Interesting. I will have to return, and that 
does make me wonder what item I would be getting for the... Yeah, those lasers really do hurt. Ouch, that was like two and a quarter hearts. Or was it? I don't know. Was my health bar full? I wasn't paying attention. I was focusing more on my environment and the commentary thereof. Because again, that's what Jesus would want. That's not why I did it. I actually open openly decry anything that a mythical figure would demand of me. If Hercules were to come to my face and say, Hey, UD, I want you to have a different face. I wouldn't I wouldn't heed his call. I'd say, fuck you, you never existed. Heracles. Buh. Okay. Also, um, it's mildly worth saying that I... Um, in the first half of the last dungeon, I said, uh, this might be the most boring dungeon I've done so far. <laughs> uh, now, even if that were true, it would still be make that dungeon nowhere near as bad as the overworld content by a long stretch. But um, it proved not to be true. Retrospectively, I must upgrade my opinion to that place. That was a rock-solid awesome dungeon, and wow, I died fast. Those laser eyeballs will deal with your shit too sweet, so... It'd be wise of me not to just... not even engage in combat in this room at all. Instead, just avoid the... Oh! Well, at least I know where I need to come back to to get to the boss. Yeah, something I've had to learn. Um, you can't use your invincibility frames just to clip through, guys. You can't... you can't use your frames. All they do is protect you. They don't let you, like, push through other people's sprites. Their hitboxes do not yield to your paltry demands. No more than I would the demands of Heracles. Zeus probably wouldn't care, because he just stuck his cock in anything that had a vagina. And many things that didn't. Is this going to be the emphasis of this dungeon? Avoiding eye lasers the whole time? Not that there's anything wrong with that, per se, but any device, if excessively used, can become uh, tedious and wearisome. Professional obligation, you know the drill. For now, I am just in base exploration mode. I'm, I'm certain I'm going to have to start actually thinking about what position the Switch Crystal is in before I go to each new area. Uh, but for the moment, I do not care. I'm just looking around for the sake of looking around. And that does indeed look like a crown. It does not, however, look like a flower. One rupee. It's worth my time. Um, okay. Ah, ooh, this is interesting. I mean, I've, I've done this before with the switch hook, but, um... I don't think the advent of a pit really necessarily changes the mechanic. Yeah, because I can just jump over it just as easily. Uh-huh. Yeah, a little cheat would not work. No, the game wants me to do things the proper way. I suppose it is for the best. For if I were able to get anything that I wanted upon a silly little whim, then life would not be worth living. Or it would be the most awesome thing ever. I'm not I'm not clear on that. I don't think any, but any human being has ever gotten everything they wanted. So uh, whatever Willy, Won Willy Wonka says may or may not be true. <coughs> Oh my. Yeah, I've, I haven't taken any conscious steps to modify the Switch Crystal deliberately. I'm just kind of going with the flow here. This is not... yeah, it's not a place I've been to yet. Um... That's probably not what that is, but that looks like a teleporter tile. I'm feeling somewhat certain that I've seen that exact type of tile elsewhere serving a different purpose, however. These objects, however, are unusual. Am I meant to push them? Meant to lift them? Meant to switch them? No, no such thing. Alright, I will be brave and wantonly step on the tile. And nothing happens. I'm so good at games. Um, let's reset the room. Why do I get the rough thought 
that there was an owl somewhere in the dungeon that I've not yet accessed, and he would have told me what to do, rather than just have a club puzzle clue be apparent from the design of the room innately. Let's see, what would a wise man bomb? Oh, that's right, everything! Yeah, I had no expectation that would do anything. Um, hmm, no. Yeah, this, it's entirely possible that I've seen this exact tile elsewhere um, before, and then back then I knew what its purpose was, but now I'm seeing it, I'm like, I don't remember a single thing. I have no cognitive ability whatsoever. However, I will throw a bomb, so I can try accessing part of the dungeon I wouldn't have otherwise. I know I've already been on the other side of these blue blocks. These blue blocks, blue blocks of science, but... This part of the dungeon has not yet been accessed while the switch crystal has been in this... This switch? This level? This color, yes. Additionally, um... Can't get far enough, can it? Um... I forget if I can shoot seeds. Let's try it. Oh, yes. Yes, I can. That could change the dynamics of this significantly. So, um, additionally, it is worth saying that, um... Oh, shizbiz, did I just come back to the beginning? This isn't the beginning. No, yes it is, isn't it? Dang it! I suck at life. Um, it's worth mentioning that, um, in several different ways, um throughout these dungeons, there's been a repeated theming of color. Like, basic, simple, primary color. Um, I don't have a key yet, do I? I've already gone down these stairs, haven't I? I believe I have. Or, no, I haven't? Okay. Yeah, new part of the dungeon. Um, which is fine. Um, you, you, it's easy to guess why that is. I mean, this was a Game Boy Color game, and... Every console manufacturer ever has a thing about uh, or asking for developers to design games that match whatever the marketing gimmick, gimmick of the console is. I mean, just look at every piece of hardware Nintendo's ever made and how software on it will try to strong arm the hardware gimmicks in, like the touchscreen on the DS and the motion sensor in, in certain versions of the Game Boy Advance. and the 3D uh, audio stereosco stereoscopics of the 3DS and the motion control of the Wii and the touchscreen tablet of the Wii U, blah, 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 and Sonic. I mean, uh, probably a... Oh, leave me alone. Leave me alone! <coughs> Wait, is my... Oh, my shield's really gone. Not that I was using it. Who gives a shit? Um... Probably a subtler example of that was um, Sega's marketing of the Sega Genesis slash Mega Drive. Is it Mega Drive or Master Drive in Europe? I forget. Um, as a fast system that's all about speed, and so you have this character who's all about going fast. Gotta go fast. Behoove to proceed expeditiously. What the hell am I doing in this room? Alright, so the fact that I see enemies out there walking on nothingness means there are invisible platforms. This is, this is nothing strictly new of the Zelda series. This happens quite a bit. <clears throat> but, how would a wise person investigate where these platforms are? I don't seem to recall that I have any capability directly involving light. This switch block is going to have something to do with something somewhere. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm not getting anywhere with this. I'm not compelled. By the way, is this just a pit? So it is. Okay. I suppose I will backtrack and try to find something new. I'm going to try something potentially dumb. I think these guys are on a straight line of sight. Um, oh, were the monsters not... Oh, there we go. Or at least they were close enough on a line of sight that I could switch hook. If you come a little bit closer. And then I know I would at least be starting on a steppable platform. Come on, you were right down there a second ago. Don't make my audience wait. They're slightly less impatient than I am, and that's really saying something. 
because I'm the least patient person in the universe. You were there just a second ago. Okay, this is obviously not the solution, but it did something anyway. I wonder if I was meant to do that just now. <laughs> not that I give two poops, but... Oh, shizbit! Alright, let's try this dude over here, then. Blast. Yep. Oh. Oh, upper right-hand corner of that thing. Okay. Yeah, I have no idea where I'm going. Um, this, this, this can't be the intended way to do this. But I got a key anyway. Was there some way to turn on a light in here that I'm just not getting? Yeah, I, I don't think it matters now, does it? I got the key. That opens up new avenues of self-expression. Or maybe that was the intended way to do that, and it hinted at such by having a switch pyramid block there. I don't know. I'm not good at games. The more I play games, especially when in competition with others, the more I realize this to be the case. I am not good at games. Why, then, does LPing for me remain a useful endeavor, if indeed it does? I think it does, because I notice, even if I'm not the kind of person who can speed run on the hardest difficulty with no upgrades and never taking a single point of damage and do so reliably and just be like some incredible mechanical monster that the likes of which humankind has never known and is very likely the most dangerous threat we we as a species have ever faced rather than being that kind of person I am the kind of gamer who notices stylistic details and details of theming and who makes serious uh, commentary and critique upon... I'm going back to find a switch crystal so I can get into that locked door over there. Um, makes commentary on design matters. Now, this is not tooting my own horn. I'm not, I'm not trying to mention this as a laurel, because I know for a fact other people could do the same thing. Render me a heart. Or not. I know for a fact that other people could do the same thing. But... A lot of the gamers I've noticed, uh, I've known who are better than me, even though they can do that, they don't. And it is my preposition that they choose not to, that they don't find it enjoyable like I do. I totally just dicked myself out of way back there, didn't I? I know there's another Switch Crystal nearby, um, and hopefully I'll find a heart too to shut the annoying chime up. Oh, these pots. Actually, I realize there's a locked door right at the southerly edge of this room, so I may as well make use of that. Um, but professional obligation, I guess, or something, lol. But, yeah, I could really use the health. Yes. Oh my, one of these guys again. Okay. Can I lift this thing with this level of power bracelet? Oh, apparently I can. Okay. I thought I had to have an upgrade. Maybe that was just in a prior game. Or a past life. Ah, oh, and he doesn't have just one that he uses. Now it fades away and may get replaced by another. From some unknown authority that decides to dole out very large ball bearings to the people of this ethereal plane. Ethereal plane. This physical plane. This is not an ethereal plane. Unless you count the abstraction of a video game to be that in and of itself, which I do not. That might be the, the realm of uh, Sartre or Kierkegaard, but not me. Throw more or less competently. Let us mimic the hammer-tossing Olympians of old. Blast. Boom, 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 boom. Hmm. Switch hooking gimmicks abound. <laughs> Professional complication. <laughs> Sorry, I had a UD stuck in my throat. Okay, so I know I can't switch hook through these blocks? No, I can't. So, what would a wise person do? Hmm. 
doesn't even seem to be a matter of speed. I, I could activate a Pegasus Seed and still be nowhere near quick enough to get past that. Hmm, yeah, these blocks don't push. Um... I don't see another way to get into that room. Um, let's try just by mapping inference if there's a bumble surface, like right here. Doesn't sound like it. Well, that just stucks me in a rut. Um, hmm. That is rather unfortunate, because I felt, uh, I felt promise in this room. I felt promise and empirical demise, but yes. Nothing there that I can see right for this very picosecond. I will then return. And decide the best course of action henceforth. The time has come to actually begin uh, moving with the state of the Switch Crystal in earnest, and deliberately so. So, I need to have the blue blocks down when I come into this section, I think. Let's see if I can avoid getting ritually murdered by this terribly religious eyeball. I've already been down here, but there's something down here I haven't done. This chest. And a key! Now, uh, there is a... Actually, there's a couple of doors I need keys for, I think. But, um... I've already more or less explored all the sections down here. Pretty sure I have. Yeah, I've been down here. Um, okay, let me get back up to one of those sections that uh, requires key access. If memory serves, specific navigation is very likely to be required here as well. I think that will do the trick. Let me explore the results of my actions on camera to see if I was correct. Well, oh, maybe not. Aw, oh, damn. I got the opposite direction of what I needed it to be. Um, shizbet. Okay, let me return. Done. May a key be spent in the name of Pythagoras. Ah. Those are light-colored versions of the dark statues I saw elsewhere. And I don't remember their configuration, but their configuration undoubtedly tells how I'm supposed to organize these dudes here. Um, jeez, I want to see if I can remember where they are, because I'd like to or get this done before I move on past this room. Symmetrical side of the castle. That makes sense. At least I think it's the symmetrical side of the castle. Um... All right, so they're just in a simple triangle configuration thingy when you dig. That's not hard at all. A triangle, you say? Okay, so I can actually push them. Um, but these switches are not in a triangle configuration. <laughs> Let's try just maybe mimicking the way they were set up in the other room. Um, were they immediately nearby, or one square apart from each other? I should have taken, like, a goddamn screen capture to reference. Yeah, no. Um, push up. Push out. Push out. Ha. Huh. Okay. So I'm not mimicking the shape of the other room, for whatever impressionable reason. So am I to assume that all but one of these switches is to be occupied? And which one would be the one not to be occupied? It's a brute forcey thing. <laughs> I, I don't know. There probably is a hint in that other room that I'm f that I failed to see. But now I'm just brute forcing it to figure out which of these switches I'm not. Oh wait, I'm supposed to stand on one of them. Herp a derp a derp a derp. <laughs> I'm supposed to stand and then stand on it and then leave some kind of weight here, which I'm not doing. So, let's move on, I guess. Oh. This looks like a challenge. Lighting all four of the braziers at once, huh? Make sure I... I probably already had 20 ember seeds. Um, my oh my, so how long does a brazier last? It must be long enough for the angles to switch on these things. First try. Aha! Another pattern I'm gonna have to memorize. Um, yellow, blue, red, yellow, red, blue. 
Christ on Tuesdays. Um, am I just going to have to memorize this? I don't want to have to screen cap this and then reference it. Yellow, blue, red. Because I'm not like great at micro-memorization upon s seeing a visual pattern, as has been shown elsewhere. Like, abs like visual abstraction is not a great strong suit of mine. Yellow, blue, red. Yellow, red, blue. I'll just try to remember the words. Ye YBR, YRB. Y YBR, YRB. It's like a Shakespearean question. Sorry, I broke the recording accidentally. Um, so I can come over here and reference this visually as often as I need to, I suppose. But I'm pushing things around here cautiously to make sure I don't get myself put into a situation that I can't recover from. Um, yeah, so let's see. I want to push that one over... It's in reference to the switch. That's that's what's going to be the tile in the middle, isn't it? Um, so it means I can probably do this. Push this up once. Does that make sense? Is that where it's supposed to be? Yes, it is. Okay. And then blue right there. This must be really boring to watch, and I apologize for that. Because, yeah... Visual abstraction, not my strong suit. I don't have the great capacity to micro-memorize this. Yellow, red, blue. And we say that the yellow is immediately to the left, and the other two are structured on that. Okay. Um, hmm. But if I push something against the wall, I'm not getting it back, so I gotta... Oh, shit, biscuits. This has gotta go this way, doesn't it? Push this out a little bit here. And then push this out here. Push that down there. And I'm missing something, aren't I? The red and the blue have to be switched, don't they? Yep. And, yeah. <sighs> okay. And do that. Do that. Uh, <laughs> I feel like I'm having to think, like, ten moves in advance, so I don't end up dicking myself over and having to restart or reset the room. Alright, that should go there. And then that should go there. Do do Oh No way. No 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 Nope nope I'm I'm walking away. I'm walking away. I don't believe it. Great blocks. Yeah. Okay. Um <laughs> Um, okay. This is a thing that, uh... I forget if it was called Samaria. Because there were a couple of canes in, um... Link to the Past, and I do not recall if that was one of them. I remember the cane of Linda. Or am I mis... Yeah, I'm probably misremembering that. Like I said, it's been years since I played that game, so I'm probably wrong in everything I've ever said, every moral and political stance I've ever held. Okay, so there was one final key door that I've not yet been to, and I don't recall where it is. Especially since the one right over here I know is the end, the boss door. Okay, so I suppose I'll do some things and win some points and find where that other door was. Or I know I could just check the map like an intelligent person, but I'm male. I don't ask for directions. This might be an area I couldn't have otherwise accessed. Now that's kind of clever. That is actually kind of clever, I've got to say. Because the only use I would have thought for this item would have been to uh, hold hold down uh, pedals or switches, just floor switches. I'm trying to think of a proper name for them, but now using them as a, a piece of platforming material, that is rather clever. I would not have considered that in a past life. <laughs> Still screw myself over. Here I have not yet been, I do not believe. Although there's one surefire way to cons uh, confirm that. Oh yes, I look at the map! That is a thing! Thankfully, one piece of utility that is maintained with the switch hook is I can use it to retrieve items from a distance. Just stop, just stop. You're not fooling anybody. Alright, so how would a wise man go about this? Do I have to come into this room with the switch in the other position? I probably do. Ah, uh, yeah, backtracking, backtracking, backtracking. Alright, let me come back. 
Before I do that nonsense, I may as well come back to where I know I can make progress. Or at least, I hope that I know that I can hope that I can make progress. I plan on recursing that about 17 more times, and then I thought better of it. Yes, yes. Item-based progression. Oh, quite late in the dungeon to find this. But what other spoils await me? You bats! Oh, can I not jump while using the switch hook? No, I can't. That's rather disappointing. Come back. You're a platform. Your life moves in cycles. This is the nature of the, the world. Uh, new territory yet still. I'm noticing... Oh, shit. Um, I'm noticing a pattern that blue-colored enemies tend to be tougher than red-colored enemies. Even though I'd expect it to be the other way around, because usually you'd consider uh, red to be a fiercer color than blue. But what about that age-old logical paradox of... What if the thing that I see when I say blue is different than what everybody else sees when they see blue? Doesn't matter. Does not matter in the least shizzy bit. As long as we all call it the same word, it does not matter. As pr professional obligation. You know how it goes. Just being professionally obligated to obligate professionals. You know, you understand. You understand. Hmm. Yeah, not been here. Um... Let me explore a bit before I start fiddling with the switch crystal. Oh. <laughs> I must remember what an actual weapon looks like. Ah, my professional obligation does not obligate me to smash all of those pods. Not unless I was much shorter of health than I am, he said right before he got hit. It's logically consistent. Well, time to start fiddling. key that I have. I could have swore there was another key door that was already... Ex that I had already found that I hadn't, like, made... Well, whatever. Words fail me. Words are weak, paltry things. They know not the greater wisdom. Oh. Okay, so this is the return path to get back up here. Undoubtedly, some kind of switch crystal nonsense is going to take place. But... Let's explore what's easily available beforehand. Da ah, Foiled efforts! So this would get me to another switch crystal, but it's a one-way path. Hmm. <laughs> Wait, I can I can be standing on this while I throw a bomb. No reason not. There. And then this should let me go down and around. And up and hoop doo 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 logical, coherent sentences. And I need another key, which I don't have. Uh, I'm not that fast if I were to set a bomb there, but I might be with a Pegasus Seed, but before expending items, we shall explore. Stretch the premise. This is just where I came from, so who gives a poop? May become necessary? I'm not sure yet. Uh, this might be somewhat tricky. Um, will it even work as I expect it to? I don't know. Also, why the hell would I shoot Pegasus Seeds at somebody? I'm a retard. That's actually offensive to all retarded people of, of different, differently abled status. They would actually be smarter than me. No, no, that's... that's unless I'm doing something... It, that's got to be the whole reason why the key block is there. I can't I can't be expected to do this. Let's try it just once more, I guess. Nope, screwed it up. Okay, try it just once more, because I hate myself. This is a waste of time, isn't it? This is not the way this is supposed to go. Really? 
that, no. No, 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 no. No, no, it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't work that way. Because I have to have... Yeah, I'd have to have the red blocks up when I step here, and there's no chance in hell I could make that happen. I don't think. Yeah, no, I need I need a key. Hmm. No. Where dust want do things? Hmm. Well, there's a chest down there I haven't gotten to yet. Let's go see if it's accessible. Such are the affectations of man that give rise to every libidinous desire. So, yeah, I'm not meant to use this as a guide, after all. There is a true puzzle to be solved in this room. So, unlike the other ones, I can't push these. I just don't think. Although, yeah, I can't push these. Um. <laughs> no. I don't have a magic bar for this to detract from, so this is not using any resource. Hmm. What would a foolish UD do? I know this is not going to affect anything, I'm just doing this as, as a matter of uh, enabling the thought process, thinking of all the different ways I have to interact with stuff. Seeds. I have a stupid idea. Let's mysteriously seed these things. Oh, what, really? That opens their eyes? I saw like an eye open on each one of those things. That that was weird. Um, let's try to shoot it. So I need to open all of their eyes at once, don't I? Um, which which one of the seeds is the most long lasting? The Gale seed, I think. So let's try it. Maybe it's not that. Does any weapon open their eyes? No, it has to be a seed, it looks like. So, let's try setting them on fire. No, I'm not... I'm not... Well, I can only shoot one seed at a time, so I wonder if I can... <laughs> this isn't working. Obviously, this has something to do with the seeds. It's the only way I've been able to interact with them at all, but... Which would it be? Scent seeds, Pegasus seeds, Gale seeds. Let's run really fast in front of them, I guess. <laughs> this is silly. There's got to be a hint or a clue that I've utterly missed as to what I'm supposed to be doing here. Well, these are the only ones I haven't tried, except these will bounce off them too, so I should do it from the satchel, not from the shooter. Oh, wait, I can... Only do that one at a time, too. Those last the longest. I could probably get it done in time, except I can only do one of them at a time. <sighs> I wonder, I wonder. I'm gonna try paying attention to the seeds I get from the pots, because I know I got some seeds from the pots. Oh, come now. I guess I just didn't go far enough away for the quant- or- No, there's bombs right there. I know I got some seeds from these pots. I must have not gone far enough away. I left the dungeon and re-entered it. Surely there should- Okay, so there was a scent- Scent seed and a mystery seed. Uh, is that a gale seed or a pegasus seed? It was a pegasus seed. Okay. And an ember seed. Right item out, you doof. 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 Hmm. Was it the order that the seeds appeared in? Because there was four seeds, and there's only three of these statues. I don't think that it's I have to do all three of them with the same seed, because... I'm pretty sure I've already done that. Let's try it uh, in a clockwise order. No? This is silly. I know there's something I'm missing. Blast. 
Wait, another idea. Maybe use a different type of seed on each statue. I'll use an ember seed here. I'll use... a scent seed here. And I will use... a... Uh, mystery seed, I guess. <laughs> what do you want from me? Why is this so obvious to everybody who's watching it, and yet not to me? Oh, shame, shame, shame. It, it is my name. I'm gonna try something very foolish. No. I thought if I could get a seed on all three of them at the same time, and have their eye open while I did it, you can use different seeds at the same time, just not more than one of the same seed. But that's not it. Fuck sticks. What? So... Fair disclosure, I didn't figure that out. I, I was wasting enough time on this one puzzle that I had to use my phone a friend option and I asked someone for help. Um, so shoot the top one, have the seed bounce off the wall, and then have its effect linger on the top one while I hurry up and fire another in between the. Why is that any more valid of a solution than what I thought of? Hell, I thought my solution was even was more clever than that. Because I, I recognized that I couldn't have more than one seed out of the same type at a time, and I was using all four of the types of seeds that were given to me out of these pots. One to let me run around quickly enough, and the other three to open the eye of the statue, and the other three used in order of longest lingering to least lingering, of a scent seed, an ember seed, and then a and then a mystery seed. Why? Why the fuck was this more of a, a more valid solution than what I thought of? That's that's not very satisfying at all. I mean, that might be short of the um, the thwomp boss landing on my head and killing me right at the end of a fight. That might be my second f least favorite dungeon thing that's happened so far. Now, so far, this dungeon has been relatively inoffensive, and I've, I've kind of liked the navigational aspect of it. Having to be careful when I hit the switch crystals and what I do with them and blah blah blah, but this... That was not very cool. Ugh. Welp. Silly puzzler, no, I'm back here. And if memory serves... Well, not if memory serves, I'm gonna attempt the solution that wouldn't have worked without that... Ah, damn it, damn it. That's too far. Yep, too far. And I may have just wasted this Pegasus seed. Let it die out. Let these freaking fireballs destroy my whole life. Okay, that's certainly close enough. Fuck sticks, I think I could have done that if I were more graceful about it. Let's try again. Nope, damn it. I, I really don't like this game's bomb controls. Also, the switch is... Fuck these fireballs, goddammit! <sighs> Trying again. Yeah. I... No, 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 there's something I'm missing. I can't be it, can't... Oh, fuck me, I just had to fall down from up here. Fuck the... Oh well, whatever, I'm here. Wait, no, uh, here is where I wanted to be, right? Except no... But up here with this switch condition is not a thing that I've done yet. And I hope that my professional obligation will render me some source of hearts. And maybe while I'm in the midst of switching, it will lend me frames from the laser. For lasers are what destroyed the nuclear family. Um... Yeah, I don't have to traverse those spikes to hit that thing, even with my sword. Oh, yeah, no, no, not another key. I don't have another key. <sighs> Fuck shits and saucy bits. This, 
This dungeon is getting tedious to navigate. I'm having to backtrack quite a bit because I don't know the most efficient path. Um, but I can see the two rooms that would need entrance. Uh, damn it. Well, back I go, I guess. Um, I forgot. I'm back here again, and I should have totally realized this when I first came here. I forgot that I have indirect fire capability. I can ricochet off Shizbiz. Or not. <laughs> no, there, there's a way to do this. I know, I, if I brute force experiment with the various angles enough, I can find a way to hit that freaking switch crystal. Um, dang. Maybe over here? I only get, like, two ricochets out of this, don't I? Boy, this must be the funnest part of your day. Well, this, this was specifically designed for me not to have indirect fire capability, apparently. Oh, come now. That almost had it. If I could move these blocks a little bit, I could probably get it. Oh! Oh, I actually get closer the closer to that corner I get. There we go! Yes, yes, I'm foolish, and I often forget my own abilities, because I don't think in the terms that the dungeon wants me to think in. But such is the nature of things, yes? Such is the nature of a, a human mind with no experience in the particular type of abstraction the game wants to... Per oh, here we go again. Okay, so what this time? I can push this style of block. What was I expected to do with it? Push it onto the... <laughs> okay. Um, let's try flanking, I guess. No? Do they always... Yeah, they always push together, I guess? That's interesting. Okay... So is this any less silly than the one with the black statues I was looking at before? What happens if I push it up against a pit, I wonder? Oh, they're both lost? That's a failure of the puzzle, not a completion of the puzzle. Hmm... I'd be tempted to use the wall, except I can't... If I push one against the wall, then I never get it back. Or now I'm not going to get either of them back, because... Awesome. Uh... S hmm. <laughs> what would a wise Ood do? Oh, and then maybe summon a... Maybe summon a brick on this to start with? No, okay. Summon a brick between them. Summon a brick between them when one of them's not occupying the thing. So can I push them all together like this now? Or, or I can't push them at all. Huh. <sighs> you see, when I talk about solving, being able to solve a puzzle and being given all the information to solve a puzzle without text. This is not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is... Oh wait, maybe I can push them together by doing this up here. Um, what I'm talking about is graceful design such that you can understand what's going on without words. Hmm. Although this might not be as bad as the other one because, I mean, I know... I've got this item, so it's expected that I'd need to use it in certain ways. But I still don't know what configuration I'm ultimately supposed to push these things into. Oh, blah. I just screwed that up. Let me restart the whole damn thing. Um, yeah, I'm not... Oh, 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 oh. I think I might have an idea. Um, let's try something. So, how would I do this? Um... Like running through the spatial logic of it in my own head while I'm making you sit here and watch me do that incredibly fun thing. <sighs> let's let's try this. Um, and then this. Okay. And then let's push this 
down. Okay, so this puzzle might not be as bad as I was giving it credit for, because I have this this cane, and if there's a is a puzzle after I get the cane, it's reasonable to expect that I'd need to use the in-dungeon item. Um, and now the idea of using the one dynamic block that I have access to to change the behavior of these two non-dynamic blocks, that's actually fairly clever. And that's quite a bit less frustrating than the... Uh, hitting three things with seeds all at the same time. Yep, That was actually pretty cool. Alright, so I take back the negativity of what I said before. Although, I'm so sick of getting keys and backtracking in this damn dungeon. I don't know what that chest is in the... <sighs> it might be just worth my time to go get it, though, because I don't want to have to backtrack yet again. I'll try to get there. You know, I suppose I can't be too hard on the dungeon. If I'm having if I'm having to retrace my steps a lot, that's not exactly the dungeon's fault. It just means it's appropriately labyrinthine. It takes work to navigate, and that's you know within reason. That's not really a terrible thing. And this this dungeon has not exceeded that reason. My frustration is basically just at myself for not figuring out everything the first time I do it. Not a reasonable impulse, of course. This is that other. Well, I'm about to access that other room. I can tell. But um, let me see if I can just throw yet another bomb. This might be out of my range, but... Yeah. Nope, oh, there we go. Oh, is that it? How many hundreds of thousands of more keys am I going to need? Honestly, if, that, if I knew that was it, I wouldn't have spent the time on doing it. Because I don't like listening to this health chime any more than you do. And that's really saying something. Wait. Oh, I just screwed myself over, didn't I? Needs to be the opposite configuration. Oh, shizbiz. Just use the damn hookshot. That's what it's good for. There. Now, avoid the flaming fireball of shame. And what fun times do we have down here? Let us equip a sword and a jumping power, for that is what a morally good person would do. I'm gonna need a dash run over there, aren't I? Uh, if I fall down even once, I might die permanently, IRL. <sighs> we. Oh. I can just do it from up here, though. <laughs> and have a quarter of a hit point left. <laughs> God, I suck. Can I handle a one-tile jump without dying? Yay! Alright, Mr. L. Tootsie Pop, etc. What text-based hint are you gonna give me? Bring it all to me. Okay. Um... Are these conjoined? Like the other blocks were. Let's let's have this ready just in case. Let's do a test push. There they are. Okay, good. Otherwise, I wouldn't have been able to get this yellow one over there. Um, okay, so do that. God damn it! <laughs> Why must I suck? Why God? Anyway, this. This thing about reconfiguring blocks that are linked together by using my own configurable block, that's clever. I like that. That's really intelligent. That's quite smart. Okay, so all the colors are conjoined. That makes some modicum of sensey wincy Archie, this is going to require some reorganization, and I'm going to have to kind of think through it. See. May as well be more or less quiet while I do the thinking and the moving, because there's not much to be said.
must be careful. Don't want to dick myself out of usability here. Ha! <laughs> Ooh! Whew. That's none too soon in coming. I believe then we're just about done with this dungeon. Um, let's see... Treasure map... I know I have the stuff. Oh, I could just look at my map screen. Yeah, so I got the treasure map key. Now we're more or less done. Alright, let's uh, get back to the rather easily accessible boss door. Yeah, I didn't I didn't open that chest up again. I just didn't see the point. These eye laser turrets can go to hell forever. Because of them, I'm going to be taking on the first boss attempt with two and a half hearts. It's time for our little game, I Break Apart. If you can force me back together and blow me away, it ends. But before you do, I shall take a bit of your soul. Now begin! Oh, oh! Oh my. Um... <laughs> force you back together. Okay, uh, yeah, I think I can figure out how to do that. I have an item after all. And then those two will probably... Yep, there we go. Collide. And now I should hit you. Uh, there's no real reason for me to be switching items. Let's just get the two that are useful. Careful. Okay. That was number one. Now number two. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. This is not entirely so much a boss fight as it is a puzzle. Whoa! Should I not have stepped on that switch? Oh, it's a reset switch. It lets me re-begin the current uh, stage. Well, this is interesting. Um, hmm. There's got to be a place where I can force them all together with one block placement. I'm thinking the top middle, but I could be completely confabulated. Yeah, it's not going to do anything. Can I f force them back together one at a time, rather than doing all of them together? Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Let's try this. Give those two a couple of revolutions, see if they, their timing would touch each other. No, it would not. Okay. Let's try this. That's completely screwed up. That will not accomplish anything, ever. I feel like I can do better than this. I'm close. I'm so close. Oh, there we go. Now can I hurt it? No, I can't. I have to force it together with the third one. And listen to the health chime for the remainder of the boss fight. What fun. No, I have to get you over into the other column somehow. Oh shit, Biscuit, I've screwed this up, haven't I? I have I can't I can't separate out the middle one first, otherwise they won't ever talk to each other. Alright, so I've gotta get I've gotta get the first combination around the middle pillar. Now how do I control which which one becomes the dominant one and takes over? I don't know. Try, my friends. You want to come together again, I just know it. Damn it. Ye. Damn it, I screwed up again. That wasn't even on purpose. Very close. No cigar. I don't even smoke. Let's try that one. Huh. They're surrounding the same number of blocks, so I can probably artificially affect the timing by... Ch yeah, because they only are... Those two only surround the same number of blocks when I, when I have one of my blocks in place. So if I wait for the other one to move around more quickly, because it only has two blocks, I might be able to get the timing down properly and have them smash heads. And that was not what that proper timing entails. Damn it. This... 
This is actually seeming fairly difficult, unless there's some, like, super easy trick that I'm missing. Hmm. A very risky strategy might be to... push it while he's circling it. Oh, wow! That's unfair. Because I thought I could more de deliberately control his motion, but apparently that's not an option. Attempt number two on this segment. Since this appears to be a highly segmented uh, boss fight, I'm not going to make you watch repeat attempts on the same segment. I already beat the first one, so what the hell. Um, yeah. So... My brain is not putting together the best timing with which to get those two to combine, as is obvious. Oh! Oh! Well, just as random happenstance, that worked. Thank Gord. Now hit each other. You know you want to. Except, you have slightly different timing now, because one of you is surrounding four blocks. But also, the smaller one moves more quickly. So in th theory, if I just let the blocks sit there, they should eventually hit each other. Like, that time got really close. Maybe this time we'll do it. Except, no, it's it's gonna oscillate, it's not gonna move. Yeah, they may not actually get that close. Alright, let's try it this way instead. What? Oh, God, you, you passed right through his sprite! Does he only still have, like, a one-tile hitbox? Oh, shizbit. If I have to do this, like, with a whole bunch more phases, this is going to get really, really wearisome. There. Okay, now this will be attempt number one on stage three. Oh my. I'm going to try to get it... Oh! Can I push these two middle blocks? Uh, yeah, but I screwed it up. So, do these things not return to their original one... What? Yeah, see, if I push them while they're on my block, they'll return to their original thing, so... Huh. Does that not apply for blocks that I didn't generate? Well, I can only push those once. Or at least so it seems. Nah. Screwed it up. Let's reset it. Hmm. Wait. Maybe this'll do. Okay, and then when it's on a block that's not mine, I'll remove... Damn it. Attempt number two on phase three. Let it be said that I've already done, like, a fuck-ton of experimentation off-camera to figure out how the shit these things are supposed to work. I think I know how to run this phase, though. Um, I gotta get them trapped around those blocks, and then... Yeah, I think I can make this happen. Come on, come on, come on. There. What? No! Ow! You have to be in contact with the more real block, don't you? Okay. Alright, now put one in the middle there. There. Now those two should contact each other any minute now. Any minute now. Any minute now. There we go. No, don't hit me. Okay, how many more phases do we have? First attempt on... Oh my god. Phase number four. <laughs> oh god, the machinations of making this work hurt my skull. Okay, so I've just got to get it on that center block. Oh, oh, I screwed up. There. Yes. Alright, one hit left, and I'm sure I'll die on the this attempt on this phase. But what the hell? Progress, right? Attempt number two on phase four. Good lord. 
I shouldn't complain too much. I've, I've spent more attempts on bo other boss fights and ended up loving them in the end. So I'll just count my goddamn blessings and stop saying words. Oh god, oh god, oh god! Trapped between a rock and a me. Oh, that proved actually very effective. Please let this be the last phase. Yay, it was the last phase. Alright, what's the essence this time? A sprig. The sacred soil, an essence of time. All that lies sleeping in the bosom of the earth will know the nourishing warmth of the sacred soil. Now, you see, that line there comes across not so much as metaphysical as it just as poetic. Which is fine. I, I'm all about poetry. Alright, Maku Waifu, what you got for me? Tell me hot whispered things from one spouse whispered into the ear of another. UD, I still hear an essence echoing near Rolling Ridge. Huh? I think someone's... Come? Uh-oh. Huh? I was digging a new tunnel, I ended up here. Hey, what are you doing here? Don't you know the game... Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh. Yeah, so maybe the... <laughs> that is a dark, dark, terrible omen. I'm betting the next video might actually be a better place to it attempt the, uh, the completely neutral language experiment. And I, I just want to point out that that neutral language experiment is mostly for a what would happen. It's not something I think I would implement on a long-term basis in any case, because, be come on, like, part of the fun of the LP is the emotions of the LP, right? Oh, oh God. Damn, I feel my spine contorting into pretzel knots just thinking of what horror... horror games has waiting for me. <sighs> Sigh. 